the blood, the blood. Oh, can you see the atala baba mosha atala baba sha? Oh, can you see the atala baba sha? Oh, God, we speak life. We speak life in our circumstances. We speak. Hey, praise the Lord, family. This is Bishop Moore, and I wanted to come to you, interrupt your day for just a brief moment uh, during this consecration that we're on as, our ch as a church family to just share a thought with you. Uh, someone asked me a question, and I think it's a reasonable question. Uh, the question is, why do we need a week of services of prayer and fasting, and then next week we've got a whole week of revival, Tuesday through Friday? Listen, fair question, but here's the answer. I'm firmly convinced that what we need is a real move of God. We spent, well, well over $1,000 and the meeting hadn't even started getting ready for the meeting. But whatever money we've spent bringing preachers in is a waste if it's just gonna be a meeting of having a preacher come and preach to cold people. The question is, is our family worth it? Is our community worth it? Is our city worth it to see a move of God is going to require the people of God seeking the face of God. We don't need another week of services. What we need is a revival. And this week of prayer and fasting, this week of evening prayers at 715, one hour of power, is to gear us up for that breakthrough that we're believing God for. Listen, family, I'm praying that you'll meet me here tonight at 7 o'clock, 715 rather. Uh, it, it is so important. You know that your family needs a move of God. You know that our city needs a move of God. You know that our church needs a move of God. And listen, there may be some others watching me that are not a member of Faith Covenant, but you're looking for God to do something to destroy yokes in your life, in your family, in the church. I urge you to come and meet us here tonight at Faith Covenant Church, 1663 Boulder Crest Road, Southeast, Atlanta, Georgia. Meet us here this evening. Meet us here tomorrow night, 715, for one hour of power, and let's see what God will do. God bless you. Thank you for your time. I love you, and I'm looking for a revival.